Hello to everybody watching this video. I wanted to make a review of these litter made boxes, um, the automatic litter box cleaners. I have three cats in my house and it was getting a little crazy with cleaning the litter boxes. So I decided to get the multiple cat one and also the single cat box. The only difference between the two is the size of the litter box. So the single cat one is a little smaller. Uh, they say you're supposed to have one more litter box than you do cats, but I wasn't about to have my whole house littered with litter boxes. So I just have the two. They have made my life a hell of a lot easier, I must say. I do have a couple issues with them, so I did want to go over that. Um, they say to use good litter in the litter box. Um, I do not. I just use the cheapest clumping litter that you can find in your store. And, I mean, it works fine. I'm sure that the more expensive kind would be a little better. The only issue with the litter is that it will clump on the bottom and you just have to scrape it up um, every once in a while. And you can just scrape it and then the rake will just rake it up for you if you don't want to sit there and technically clean the box. Um, you can just scrape up the little pieces that are stuck to the bottom and the rake will get that for you. I also heard you could use silicone spray on the tray on the bottom. Um, I'm not going to go that far with it. So I was having a few issues. Uh, the flap was staying up after the rake would come through and flip the lid. The lid would just stay up and you could just smell everything. So I kind of came up with a little hack for this. Um, I just took some elastic and just kind of twirled it so that it, so that when this goes up and down, um, it'll just kind of stay one piece of string and not dangle into the box. Um, cause if the string dangles in the box, the, it'll get stuck in the rake and it will break the pieces off. I kind of did learn that the hard way. So with my other box. So I just kind of twirled this piece of elastic. I attached it. I attached one side up here and the other side to the edge, the side of this. And when the rake comes through, this will lift up. Everything will go in there and the string, the elastic will pull this back down. So that solved that issue. Um, that was a big, that's probably my biggest issue with it is that the lid would not flop back down, which, you know, I did not want the house to smell like litter box. So that was an issue. Um, the next thing I have for you is just a little hack. I actually saw it online with the bag. Since I have three cats, um, the other one's somewhere, the receptacles would get filled up quite quickly. And I guess I am kind of a lazy person. I would rather, you know, wait a little longer to replace the receptacles. I also didn't want to spend a lot of money on new ones, so I was just kind of reusing them and they get nasty. And I, I tried using bags, but the bag at the time definitely had an issue with this lid going back down. But I did find a video online. This guy had um, did this. So let me show you. So I have the receptacle here. 
let me just kind of show you what's going on here. So I've got a bag. Sorry, hang on a second. So let me just kind of show you quickly. I cut out pretty much the walls of the receptacle and then just drape your bag inside of it and along the outside. I'm trying to do this one handed so it's not going slow. Um, and then you just kind of plop it in there. Of course, you know, make it go in there nice. Not how I'm doing right now because I'm one handed. <clears throat> so, of course, that would all be tucked in there. And it will kind of just kind of fill the bag outwards. And it's okay if the bag sticks out because your little litter catcher there will cover it up. Sorry, I'm wearing my painting pants today. So, and sorry about the cardboard over there. I had some um, Amazon packages the other day and I need to get rid of that. But anyways, those were my only two issues that I had with it. Very easy fixes. Um, with my three cats, I probably empty the receptacle or the bag now. Um, probably once every three to four days. So that's not bad compared to what I was doing, which is cleaning the litter boxes every single day, sometimes multiple times a day. And it really does capture all of the smells. It keeps the smells in that little area very well. Um, definitely way better than just a regular box. Um, before with the regular box, it was terrible really, the smell, and it was embarrassing when you walked by that area where the litter box was. But now you could walk by these litter boxes and you don't even know it's a litter box there. So, I am very happy with these. I've had these for about a year now. Uh, I know some people have issues with uh, the litter. The litter will um, kind of go in between that gap and fall, fall on the ground underneath it. So you'll have a little trail of litter underneath the box, which I have experienced as well. But I just kind of sweep it up and put it back in there. Uh, it's no big deal for me, but I could see how that could get annoying for some people. Uh, I know some people would just take a piece of tape. Sorry, that's just dust from the litter. Um, would take a piece of tape and just tape the receptacle along that edge. And then that would take care of that problem. So... Um, that is really all that I have for you. So that is my review of this box. I recommend it 100%. I know they can be a little pricey, but I do not regret it at all. It was completely worth the investment. Um, so yep. Yeah. And there's, there you go. Um, I hope you guys have a great night. Bye-bye.